Hi, it's Trisha from East Marsh Acres. Here on a February day, beautiful sunny weather today, so I'm working in the garage. And what I'm doing is we're having a problem with our chickens. Um, <clears throat> we've got some egg eaters. So um, I've got to prevent them from getting at the eggs when they lay them. So I've had, I made a suggestion in my Facebook group about um, what I could possibly do. So someone suggested, and because we made our own nesting boxes, that I use a paint tray because they have a slope to them, and then they have a um, then they have a dip right where you put your your roller in, and that could harvest the eggs. So I thought I'd try it. Otherwise, you have to buy a you know a nest box that has that kind of configuration and it's about 150 bucks so thought I'd give this a try first and see if it works and so anyways here are here's what I'm doing <clears throat> so this was our normal box for laying and so that was the back of the box so now what I've done is I've cut out the back of the box and I put in the paint tray. <clears throat> so what happens is the chicken will go in there. Hopefully it's got enough room, but yeah, it should be able to get in there. And just to demonstrate, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put this shelf liner in the bottom here. I'm going to glue it in the bottom. So the chicken comes in, they're going to lay their egg, and it's going to roll and it's going to roll and like that. What I'll do on this end, I've got to cut the wood yet, but I'll put that there and attach it to the sides. So then when they lay, it rolls and they cannot get at it. But then I can go to the back and I can lift it up and grab the eggs. So, Anyways, I've got one more box to do. I'm going to see if this works. <laughs> um, it's a very much a DIY solution. We'll see if it works. If it does, it costs me $25 <laughs> as opposed to $150. So I'm not going to bore you with the um, um, cutting up because... I'm a disaster, as you can see from this piece here, using the reciprocal saw to cut off the ends. But <clears throat> I'll show you the other things, how I'm going to do the wood and attach the wood. So um, I'll, I'll be back and I'll show you my progress. Okay, just to update you on my progress with my nesting, roll-away nesting boxes, DIY, really DIY. But anyways, here, here it is. So, yeah, I'll put it up here. Um, yeah, so I put a cover on. So it'll go in the back. And I can open it up and grab the eggs. So as you can see, chickens will go in there. Lay the egg, it'll roll. Lay the egg, it'll roll. There they are. And the chickens won't go under there to... They can't peck at it then. Now because I, you know, kind of lost structure in the box a bit, I had to kind of put it together with some um, with some ties, and that's also how I did my hinge for the wood. So very DIY, but hopefully it'll work. Um, yeah, now I got to make another one, grab it from the chicken box, and we will. See how it works tomorrow probably I picked up two eggs today those are the two eggs that you see and uh, so we will see if there's any more today or um, yeah what they're gonna do with this but I may have to make a new roosting bar because this sticks out too far so I gotta I might not be finished with my DIY today Anyways, um, 
let's go to the chicken coop and see how this is working. Hi, it's Trisha back here this afternoon. And now um, I am making, or I have made a portable roost. So since the nesting boxes um, are further back, there's not a lot of room on the roost that's already there. And I'm gonna be ordering some new chickens as well in the spring. So they're gonna need a little bit more room anyway. So I've made sort of this portable um, roost for the chickens. So I can put it in the coop and then take it out when I need to clean it and so on too. So let's bring it over to the um, chicken where the chickens are right now and I can show you how I've installed everything there. So see. Okay, we're back here at the chickens. So we're in the hoop house and uh, there's all of our chickens and I'll be chickens are wondering what is going on so this is what we have now so here's my two nesting boxes that I've hey hey you quit that you quit that no I have one uh have one poking at my feet no I'm poking right into the back of my thigh above my boot silly chicken anyways so those are the nesting boxes that I put in but you can see that this roost here is not very they don't have very much room anymore so oh no so I'm going to put in this roost that I made and I can just put it in here and then they can roost on that so hopefully they don't mind that I just hope that they don't lay underneath there anyways those are the new roosting boxes there girls yes they're checking it out so normally so this is closed but so then what I do so this is I, well I can't close it right now because the lid is up but as you can see I can go in and get the eggs from there so <clears throat> They just love that it's open and they can be on top here. Hey, okay. you guys like that? You guys like that? Yeah? You guys like that? Yeah. Hey there, Lucy. And this is one of our lasers. Look at you. And there's Heidi. Heidi's always the one over there. She is always likes to be uh, up high. So she will always be here if that's possible. And you saw our coop door. So that's been working wonderful. It now closes at 7 and opens at 6.30 in the morning. So, okay, there they go. Okay. You gonna come down? Are you gonna come down? Hmm? Okay, you lasers. Okay, you go down. Go down. Okay, come on. Yeah, I know. I know. Whoa, whoa. There you go, Alby. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Lower the lid. Now I can close this. So everything's kind of back to normal. So now you can see it with the back closed there. So hopefully they won't lay on the wood, but they'll lay on the in the front part of the box. 
So this is going to be an experiment. Otherwise I might have to put some more straps across so they don't go in that area. Anyways, experiment. Let's see how it goes tomorrow morning. And we get the eggs. So, anyways, Trisha signing off for today and her work and getting the chickens hopefully set up and set up for the new ones. I think we're going to put the new chickens. Um, we're going to set up a spot here to acclimate them with the other chickens when they're ready to go out. So, yeah, when the time comes, I put this Christmas tree here just to give them a little bit of a hiding spot or whatever if they wanted. So, it seems that they go up there. But I'm going to get out of here because it is warm in here. So they have a lovely warm spot here in the winter now. So, talk to you later. Bye.